We are going to look at uh, one of the simplest telescope designs, which is a refracting telescope. This was the first telescope to be invented, uh, which was by a Dutch lens maker named Hans Lippershe. And the easiest version of a refracting telescope is made with just two lenses. The first lens, which is your main lens, is called the objective lens. And then you have a second smaller lens, which will be your eyepiece. And on the diagram, we see that as light enters the objective lens, the path of the light gets bent, and that is called being refracted, and that's where the name refracting or refraction comes from. So we have our light bent inward and downward until it hits the eyepiece, where the eyepiece essentially reverses the process and unbends the light. And notice that in this case the light going in the top of the objective comes out the bottom of the eyepiece and vice versa, light going in the bottom of the objective crosses over and comes out the top of the eyepiece. Where those two paths cross is called the focal point. And the distance of the objective lens to the focal point, which is labeled here as F0, that is going to be our telescope focal length. And that distance from the focal point to the eyepiece is the eyepiece focal length, which I'm going to just abbreviate FL. And those two numbers are what will ultimately be used to measure the magnification of the telescope. And I just fixed the spelling of length because I realized I had the T and H reversed. Uh, the telescope magnification is going to be the ratio of these two. So it's going to be the telescope focal length divided by the eyepiece focal length. Now when purchasing a telescope, the objective lens is going to be the important part because that's the fixed portion of your telescope. That's the main lens, that's where most of the money is going. Your eyepiece is interchangeable. So by getting eyepieces with a wide variety of focal lengths, you can get a wide variety of magnifications. And notice that it is an inverse relationship. So as eyepiece focal length increases, magnification decreases. So the longer your eyepiece focal length is, the lower the magnification you get. And the reverse, the shorter your eyepiece focal length, the higher the magnification. Now mathematically, you can go up to almost infinite magnification, but obviously there are limitations. And your limitation is based on the size of your objective lens, how big a cross it is. And that size is called the aperture.
And a good rule of thumb is 50 power for every one inch of aperture is kind of your limit of um, magnification for a typical telescope. Now if you have a much uh, high-end very well-made telescope that number can be a little bit larger but for your typical department store kinds of telescopes you do not want to bump your magnification up much more than 50 power for every inch's worth of aperture so if you have a 3 inch diameter telescope your aperture is 3 inches across you would not want to go higher than about 150 power as a general rule of thumb